Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with the grocery haul. I have done an overhaul on my eating lately. So I'm gonna do a grocery haul, I'm gonna do a food vlog after this, and then um, Ellis for a Living and I will have a kitchen empties coming up. But I'm loving the way I'm eating right now. So I'm gonna jump right into this and we will, I'll show you the groceries I got and what I'm doing with them. Okay, the first things are, I got some maple syrup because Melissa55 just did a video on Brussels sprouts and her Brussels sprout recipe. I will list that down below. This is in that. That's what I got this for. And I'm making giant containers of that. I'm obsessed with it. My whole family is. So that's what this is for. Um, I got lemon juice. I used this in an electrolyte drink that I will talk about in another video. An electrolyte drink, and I also put this in my coleslaw. It's so good in coleslaw, and I'll put that recipe down there too. It's just sweetener in this, and um, mayonnaise, and it's delicious. Okay, next, I got apple cider vinegar, and I'm going through this like crazy. I put this and lemon juice in an electrolyte drink, and love it. It gives me a lot of good gut acid, which is great for your health. I find it helps with allergies, so that's what this is for. Okay, next I have some heavy cream, and I occasionally will use this in my coffee, but I got this because I'm thinking about making um, potato soup, skinny potato soup. It's delicious, and I'll put that recipe down there. And then bacon, this is for that Brussels sprout recipe. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's like candy. It's so good and healthy. That's pretty much all I use this bacon for, is that the Brussels sprout recipe. Okay, then I got a chuck roast. A chuck is my favorite because it's more tender. It's a lot more tender and um, it's just good protein. I don't eat any red meat. And now I would say I'm eating kind of a good split of chicken, turkey, and red meat. Probably a third, third, and a third. And I really like that. Okay, then I have some frozen okra. And we're gonna try putting this in the oven with Parmesan and spiced because that's the change to my diet. Y'all, I'm eating so many vegetables and I cannot tell you how good I feel. I feel amazing. Every day I'm, I'm getting at least four to five veggies a day and I'm watching my carbs. So they're mostly low carb vegetables and um, okra. I thought that would be a good one to try. I haven't eaten a lot of okra. Um, and then I got tons of tomatoes because my allergies have been acting up. And these eradicate my allergies like nothing else, like magic. It's crazy. So I've talked about this in other videos, but um, I'm going to try these flavor, flavor Bomb Sweet Tomatoes. That sounds like candy. So I got about 10 containers of tomatoes. Okay, then I got four or five chicken tenders and I like it sliced really thin. And this time with this, I'm gonna make um, cheesy chicken. It's always a favorite. Uh, chicken salad, white chicken chili. I just got a recipe from my niece that is so easy. So I will post that down below, it's delicious. So that's what I'm gonna do with the chicken. I rarely just put this in the oven. If you, if you have a good recipe for just oven baked chicken with good spices and stuff on it, let me know that because I need one. Okay, then I got lemons because sometimes instead of the bottled, I use this. It's delicious in coleslaw. And then these little cherry tomatoes, I'll eat a whole container of these when my allergies are acting up and it will get rid of them. So if you have bad allergies, try that. It sounds very strange, but it works. Okay, and then I have a whole sack of squash, yellow squash and zucchini, and I'll slice these into discs real thin and put spray butter on them or regular butter or just Pam and salt and Parmesan. I've had that in videos and I'm about to put it in another one. It's delicious. It's like fried squash, but healthier. Okay, then I got um, fresh green beans. My niece just made lunch for us one day 
and she melted butter in a pan and put these fresh green beans in there. And when we ate them, they were still a little bit crispy with butter and salt. It was delicious with those Brussels sprouts, with Melissa's Brussels sprout recipe. And then I got Brussels sprouts. And I bought, they only had the small bags, so I had them pick me up nine bags of this. So I've got about 12 bags of this in there. <laughs> we love the Brussels sprouts. And I bet they're so good for you. And then apples. I have a bag of apples, and I eat an apple many days. It doesn't really disrupt my blood sugar. And I just like the apples. Sometimes I cook them or eat them raw with salt and a little bit of peanut, a spoon of peanut butter with them. And I keep the Fuji or Honeycrisp. Either one is delicious. Okay, then I got a package of sweet potatoes. And I got these because my niece will cube these and put them on a pan with just tons of different veggies and put it in the oven and bake them all. And so I'm going to do that with this and this cabbage. I got a recipe from somebody at my church that they just open the cabbage, kind of lay it open, and then put butter all through it and salt and put it in the oven. I thought these together would be delicious. So I'm going to do kind of a, a veggie oven bake like my niece does. I thought that would be really good and healthy. Okay, and then I also got two heads of cauliflower because I'm going to look up a cauliflower casserole or ask my friend for one that she made me one time. It was so delicious and I think it was cauliflower and maybe cream and cheese. It was so good. So I'm gonna seek that out and when I find it, I will put the recipe down there because it was delicious and like zero carb. Okay, then I have more Brussels sprouts, tomatoes, and I have my coleslaw in these bags and then in this bag, I had mushrooms. Y'all, these are supposed to be so healing, and I'm not sure why. If it's the vitamin D or what, but I thought these would be so good during cold and flu season and everything else going on. I put these in my air fryer and just put salt on them, and they taste so good. And when I dip them in ranch, it is um, almost like a fried mushroom. It's so good. And I have my pest control guy out here. He's probably going, what is she doing? Okay, in this sack, I have sweet potatoes because I will eat canned vegetables. I know frozen and fresh are better, but I will eat canned vegetables. And allowing myself to do that makes me eat vegetables. Then I have green beans, and I have been eating a ton of green beans. And I don't especially love the canned ones, but I will eat that with coleslaw. And any vegetable that I don't really love, but I, it's low carb, it's green, it's good for me, and I want to eat it, I'll make some coleslaw with it. And it makes it delicious. So I've got a bunch of green beans in here. And I also have sweet peas. Um, with this, I will make like a pea salad with just a, like maybe a tablespoon of mayonnaise in it. And that's a nice treat with all my other veggies. So these are green beans, peas, and sweet potatoes. And then I've got these sweet and sassy Dr. Pepper baked beans. Okay, these are not gonna be low carb. I will get very little of these every time I eat them. But I think beans are supposed to be good for you. I know that there have been some people in the past year that have said, no, beans aren't good for you, but I like them. <laughs> I like beans. They make me feel good. It's a little bit of carb when I need some carb because I keep my carbs really low. Then I've got ranch seasoning packets for that chicken chili. That and some other stuff. I don't remember. Taco soup and um, things like that. More baked beans and red tail in here. Oh, and then I have also Bush's baked beans. So... Again, I'll be really careful with those, and I don't eat those every day. Uh, but when I need a little bit of carb and I want a little bit of a treat, that tastes like a treat. Okay, then I got two Jenny O ground turkeys, and I like the lean, but not the super lean. I like the 85%. This is perfect because it's not a bad fat. It's not overly dry. It is delicious, just as a turkey patty. And I would eat a turkey burger if I ate gluten. But um, I love the turkey patties and sometimes even chicken patties now. But I like the turkey better. 
Okay, then I got some olive oil because my husband heard of a recipe with Brussels sprouts that he wants to try. He doesn't like his veggies sweet with the maple syrup and the bacon. So he wanted me to do olive oil and some spices. So we're gonna try that. And then pinto beans. When I want some beans, but I don't want the sweet of the baked beans, I will add a little bit of pintos, like a fourth of a cup. I don't get a full half of a cup, but I like, you know, just a little bit of extra carb in these. Makes me feel really good. Okay, then I also got just regular cut okra. Let me know how you do this, what you put in it. Do you just put in just salt and butter? I'm sure it's delicious. So wanted to try that too. I'm trying all sorts of different veggies and they are making me feel so good. Okay, then I got about four Parmesan cheeses because we're putting this on a ton of our veggies and putting them in the oven or the air fryer and it makes like a crust, but it's gluten free and carb free. So we're going through a lot of Parmesan. I've done that on my squash for a long time, but it's good on okra. It's good on a lot of stuff. Okay, and I've got some ranch because I'm dipping a lot of my veggies in this. And it makes them taste fried with that Parmesan. And if you don't want to put butter on your veggies and you want the Parmesan to stick, spray it with Pam or oil, but I spray mine with Pam. And then the salt and the Parmesan sticks to it and you've not added any calories, fat, or carbs. Um, but I dip my mushrooms especially in my Parmesan squash and it makes it taste fried. It's so good. Okay, then I've got three Duke's mayonnaise for chicken salad, coleslaw, and in the mornings when I'm eating my chicken salad, I will do the toast and put a thin layer of mayonnaise on it and then the chicken salad, and it's so good. It makes it almost buttery. So I go through, you know, a reasonable amount of mayonnaise and then corn for my white chicken chili recipe. Okay, this sack is more okra, more corn, and wickles. <laughs> Have y'all ever had wickles? These are delicious. They're like a spicy bread and butter. And I'm care a little bit careful with these. A little bit, because they are high sugar, high carb, but they're delicious with chicken salad and pretty much anything else. They're really, really good. Okay, then I've got pinto beans, black beans, and cream of mushroom soup for my roast. That makes the most delicious roast. Just cream of mushroom, a can of water, and then add your potatoes and your carrots and whatever else. Makes a delicious roast. Okay, then I've got avocado. And I like to make guacamole and let it go bad. <laughs> this is pretty much what I do. I really like to put it on toast with an egg and I forget half the time. But I do like to make guacamole with that. And then I've got pecans. Y'all, I've got the pieces. I like to put pecans in Melissa's Brussels sprout recipe, but I like the chunks. I got the pieces. I'm sure it will be fine. It'll be all right. It'll still be, it'll still be delicious. Oh my gosh, y'all, I have more canned goods, and it's more okra, corn, and beans. I better start going through some canned. Okay, then over here I have sweet red onions. Y'all, I have started slicing these up and putting them in my coleslaw. It takes it to another level. It's just, um, I'll put the recipe down below. It makes it delicious. If you like, if you like onions, you would love that. Okay, and then I think the last thing is these baby carrots. Okay, what I've started doing with these is making candied carrots. I put, where's my spray butter? Spray butter, Splenda, and then cooking them for a long time. Ted and Violet love them. It reminds me of the 70s when my mom made candied carrots. I make enough, like I'll make this whole bag at one time and eat them all week. What I discovered recently is candied carrots and then put those Brussels sprouts on them. It's like dessert and it, it is healthy and good. I'll put all those recipes um, down below. All right, and that is all of my groceries. I have these mushrooms. This is more mushrooms. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything. So anyway, eating a lot of vegetables, more light meat than I used to, still eating red meat, and watching my carbs. And I don't know that I've felt this good in a couple of years. I feel so good on it. That's all I have for you. If y'all are enjoying 
Something at your house that you think I need to pick up and try, let me know, especially vegetable recipes and chicken. So anyway, that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.